Good morning, everybody, and thank you for attending. Um, so this morning, I'm going to run through uh, EasyScan's uh, email record capture solution. So our record capture solution is actually aimed for records professionals. Um, it is not an email uh, capture solution for general users. It is for power users in records. And it is specifically aimed at corporate emails, the kind of emails that an organization gets into their common email box, like um, inquiries at uh, government department, local council, business type of thing. A lot of these corporate emails are also part of um, digital transformation initiatives where, um, where transactions are done online and the byproduct of those transactions is an email. So that enters the business as an email and requires processing. So I will carry on. Um, so the first thing is what we do. Um, we are an Australian company. We're a research software research and development company based in Brisbane um, with offices globally. Um, we develop information capture solutions um, and um, records is very much part of, of the offerings that we do for information management and the capture of that information into an organization. The reality is that information capture and specifically data capture it's not much fun. In fact, it's quite laborious work, time consuming, and data entry is uh, is probably most people's bugbear. It is a long-winded um, process, and my my favourite hate of any type of data entry is the old file save as when we're taking any bit of information and actually having to decide what we're going to name it and where we're going to put it. So, what being an R and D company actually means is that we never stop looking for ways to make things better and easier for our customers. So ultimately, ultimately we aim to um, improve the way our customers do business and make what they do a little bit more enjoyable so it's not as tedious as, as it could be. So our customer feedback um, in the last couple of years, because um, we, we we listen, we value the um, the feedback our customers give, and uh, as part of the products that we and solutions that we develop, develop, and they're telling us that with the trend that we've got going on at the moment with going digital, in fact, we've been going digital for the last 20 years, so. Um, it's pretty much what we're trying to do is help people go digital. But one of the things they are telling us is that they are scanning less and less. There is less paper because a lot of transactions are now being born digital. So as long as you're not printing out emails and, and scanning them, um, we're, we're, we're on the way to some, some sort of digital transformation and, and less paper. But so, more and more information is being born digital and that's having to be captured as well. The other thing is they're telling us is there is a push back from records back to the business units. Because of the volume of information being generated, um, a lot of the information that's entering records is being dumped in records as a part of compliance. Here, you need to scan this. But the reality is that the business units are the ones that are intimate with that information and they're actually better tasked to identify the value of those assets to the business because they know what they are. Some of the stuff is what they've created as part of the business. So capturing or registering this, this information is, is probably better suited to the business units. But the whole idea of enforcing users or business units users to apply metadata to information or to to actually carry out that registration process is really difficult because a lot of the time they don't see that as their job. The other thing that's happening is this high volume of corporate email that's being generated. And I'll, I'll just say it again, it's, we're not looking at the email that general users get as part of their work in their inboxes. We're talking about here about the corporate email that enters the organization as a whole, inquiries at some government department, okay? And 
email records still need to be registered and actioned correctly. And that's why we call them records, because the information matters and is of great value to the organization. So the other thing our customers are telling us is why can't they register this bulk email in a batch process in exactly the same way as they register their, um, their normal documents? And the, for those of you out there that utilize EasyScan, will know how, what, what these customers are talking about because of the volume of information that they're having to capture. EasyScan has this ability to be able to batch process um, the information and limit the amount of manual data entry that the user is having to do. So they're saying, why can't we register this bulk email in exactly the same way? Or wouldn't it be easier if we could? So just having a look at what EasyScan actually offers, and this is really a point of difference, beyond being a imaging tool or a capture tool or a scanning tool, EasyScan has this ability to apply um, records business intelligence. And what we're talking about here is your business intelligence. This is um, information that is based on your rules and your governance and your business workflows. So we're talking about um, information that is uh, tied down to a business unit, to a process, to an inquiry, to just the way you do business. So what you're looking at here is just a business classification system or a spreadsheet, I call it a, a document profile. So it's from a council and we've got the business units here. Um, I've highlighted the local laws here and you've got the different types of documents, their descriptions. Um, the taxonomy, the way the documents should be named or must be named, where they live in the document management system, um, the uh, the action, the record action or the workflow that's required. So um, uh, again, what our customers are saying, why can't we utilize this business intelligence that we do with how we use EasyScan every day to register our emails? So the message is clear, information managers, records managers, they don't want to be registering this corporate email one at a time. They don't want to be dragging these emails into queues into their document management systems. They don't want to be filling out the profile, um, the profile um, cards. Um, they would like the ability for EasyScan to convert these incoming um, emails, uh, unstructured emails into structured actionable records um, where the web data, um, the, uh, the structured email information can be captured and um, recorded as part of the record keeping process. Now EasyScan offers the ability to do this in both an automated process and an operator assisted process at the desktop. So there's two very distinct types of solutions. So an automated email record capture solution might be something as simple as an education organization, a university, a TAFE or whatever, where they have the requirement to capture all incoming and outgoing student-based email. Now, we had one organization that had a backlog of something like 40,000 emails where four records um, officers were dragging and dropping um, emails into the EDRMS um, one at a time, identifying which student it was in and then putting it into the folder. And what they asked us to do is set up our, our server product where the server intercepted all those emails, basically read the student ID, um, validated uh, via a lookup into the EDRMS and automatically filed those emails to the student folders. Suffice to say, once they installed this, it cleared the 40,000 emails in a matter of days, not a problem. If for some reason there's no student ID on the email, it will actually email back whoever um, sent that email and it says, um, on this occasion, one of our staff has filed this uh, email manually. In future, could you please make sure that the student ID is in the subject line? So there we have a very powerful automated solution. Now at the desktop level, what we're talking about is structuring the incoming email 
so we're able to um, arrange it into meaningful metadata and register the document um, at the desktop level. And the reason we want to do it at the desktop level is so the operator can validate the, the information and just make sure that everything's okay. So what we're looking at here is um, the metadata that's been taken from an email and then it's been it's been massaged into the required metadata requirements so that the document can be um, registered into the EDRMS. And more importantly, that based on that metadata, EasyScan can automatically trigger the required workflow that's associated with that correspondence or that business transaction that just happens to enter the business as an email. Now, we, we can save the email into the EDRMS in its native EML format because it is a record, but we can also strip off the attachments and process those as separate records if required. And optionally, we can output the PDFA um, text searchable PDF as well with both the header data and the supported attachments into some other line of business application not just the EDRMS. So we're not only capturing these things as a record, we're, we're actually capturing them as a record as a function of the business process, not because of compliance, but because we want to try and get some job done at the same time. So this initiating the business action or the workflow is really, really important to the value that records um, professionals can add to the business. So what you see here on the screen is actually the desktop version of EasyScan. And um, I'm gonna put my records manager's hat on at the moment. And I'm pulling in an email that's come to inquiries at, and it's a local council. And the email might be about um, a barking dog complaint. So all I have to do as the records officer is put from the pull down menu, select that it's a barking dog complaint. And then EasyScan can do a whole lot of smarts that can help um, uh, cut down the amount of d um, data entry that the operator has to do. It could look up the property um, from your NAR and that property information. So we don't want to be typing in names and addresses if we've already got that information. So that <clears throat> the ability to be able to do database lookups and leverage your existing as a record and the workflow is fired. Now here's another example. Um, for those of you who are um, local uh, councils, you might be familiar with um, apps like Snap, Send, Solve that a um, constituent can take a photo of something and send that into council and it arrives into council as an email. <clears throat> and what EasyScan can do is it can take that email and dissect all the metadata associated with that report and automatically um, uh, uh, configure it to the required uh, metadata fields and it can automatically upload it into the EDRMS and fire the workflow associated with that transaction. Now, the other thing is that we have the ability also um, as part of our uh, information solution offering is our uh, web forms, um, which is part of our web app solutions. And this gives an organization the ability to take a business process and not just create a PDF form that someone fills out online, but, be, but create a digital workflow solution based on the transaction that's required. So you can very easily set up a form that a user can fill in online, but the byproduct of it is that this transaction is automatically captured as a record and automatically put into your workflow in your EDRMS, depending on the, on the requirement. So what you're looking at here is EasyScan's digital forms assistant which can take that information, it can either push it in as an email transaction or push in the metadata that's required as part of that transaction to initiate that business workflow. 
So that previous screen that I just showed you, that web form, when the user fills out the, or the constituent or whoever it might be, fills out that web form, EasyScan creates a text searchable PDFA compliant record of that web transaction. So it enters the business as a attachment to an email. EasyScan strips off that attachment or can save the attachment as a separate um, record, whatever the requirement might be. It uploads it into the EDRMS and creates the record of it. It can also push the metadata again into some third party application and initiate the workflow based on that particular form data. Now, the one I've just shown you was a capital works request. So somebody's requested something get done, they've filled out an online form, EasyScan has recorded that and it's auditable. In other words, we know who's done what at what time and when it entered the business and how it was processed and where it went in the EDRMS and what f workflow was triggered to initiate that um, capital works request. Now what I'd like to do is actually switch over to a demonstration of it. So I'm in, in a virtual machine here, which is actually connected to an EDRMS system. And what you're looking at here is the desktop version of EasyScan. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to process a dial before you dig email. So basically what this is, is that a, it's from a council and people submit dial before you dig um, inquiry forms based on um, some works they might be doing and want to know something. So they might submit an email. So easy scan um, can be started and it will pull the email folder that has been allocated to this council for dial before you dig. Now that happened very, very quickly, but what you, what you may have seen is that easy scan has imported that email and its um, attachments and it's automatically gone through because this email is structured and dissected all the relevant information automatically. So it's got an email ID, the date the email came in, what it's about, um, who it was addressed from, um, their location in the EDRMS, the information from the email, um, the area, what is required. And here we've actually got the ability to select what we want to do, whether we want it to go into the EDRMS as an email or as a PDF. So when I push submit now, EasyScan converts that whole email into a text searchable PDFA compliant document and uploads it into the EDRMS. And it actually gives us the EDRMS ID number as well. So if we flick over to the EDRMS, which just happens to be content manager, and I go recent documents, you'll see here that EasyScan has automatically captured that transaction. If I double click it, you'll be able to see the PDF. And here we have it here for this dial before you dig. And depending on what the requirement was, it can automatically fire the workflow. So in the way it, it does this, I can show you again, is based on the business intelligence that lies in your governance and records requirements based on um, your documents, what your documents are, what your taxonomy rules are, where they reside in the EDRMS, what the workflow is based on that digital transformation process. So that pretty much wraps up my presentation.